Hey everybody, um, good morning. Uh, it is a Tuesday, it is Toy Box Tuesday. It is the third to the last Toy Box Tuesday. Uh, today, I'll tell you in a second what we're gonna be doing. Um, you can maybe get a, maybe get a hint, uh, possibly, at uh, what we're gonna be working on today. Um, uh, next week, Tuesday morning, I will be sitting down on my Xbox 360 with Michael Huber, and we, we will be completing the Lone Ranger playset uh, which we unfortunately did not complete. Um, when we played it back at the... Got a little echo there, sorry. Reloaded that page. Echo is gone. Um, uh, that uh, Hugh and I unfortunately did not finish. <clears throat> We're back at game trailers. Um, but uh, yeah, I voted. Got my voting uh, my voting sticker on. Uh, get out and vote today. That is the last you will hear from me about anything concerning voting today. Um, because we're here... This, uh, the name of this episode is called Happy Place. We are here to think happy thoughts, um, to, to, to try to de-stress, because there's lots of other things going on in the, that affect the world today. Um, <clears throat> and there's no happier place that I know um, than, uh, than, than Disneyland. So today we're going to be working on my Disneyland toy box. And uh, next Tuesday I will be playing Lone Ranger with Mr. Michael Huber. And the following Tuesday will be the final toy box Tuesday. Uh, of the regular season, I might jump back in for a fun to toy box related stream, be it on a Tuesday or not. Um, but uh, the actual run of the show will end uh, in two weeks. So, uh, <clears throat> and I actually have some uh, special guests lined up if they actually show up. But I've reached out to some people that uh, have worked in and around the game over the years, uh, the series. Um, so, so yeah, let's just uh, let's let's go to my happy place and let's actually load up a whole different thing because we're built in Disneyland. So I don't know if you, uh, if any of you caught my Disneyland construction thing earlier, but I have uh, Google Maps here, and uh, you know, apologies to all the uh, tourists that uh, are going to be now included in Toy Box Tuesday. It's a very creepy shadow right there, uh, with just the feet. Uh, and uh, yeah, these these slightly imperfect um, Google image views uh, will help us actually construct a a, a Disneyland that is uh, authentic, um, that uh, the proportions are, are hopefully correct. Um, Resub, Elephant, thank you. Two months in a row. Thank you, everybody. Um, Jones's Garage is the happiest place on earth. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little stressful. But, uh, yeah, so I have, I've constructed different versions of Disneyland over the years. This is my 3.0 version. We got lots of really fun updates in 3.0. We got uh, these ticket um, entrances areas that are different. You got one that's got the turnstiles, and you got the other that's got the exit. Um, I don't know why they have the open ones, because there really are no open ones. They all have turnstiles. If you go into Disneyland and if you go out, <clears throat> you're going through a turnstile. Um, you got these fences. These are authentic Disneyland fences. You got the, the trash cans uh, that are authentic. You got the rooftop here that is actually labeled the, uh, um, the Disneyland train station, I believe. Um, and we have lots of very specific Disneyland um, Main Street facades out front here. Um, so I was able to... Make uh, Main Street a little bit better. One, one of the things that bums me out, I think, most about Main Street right now is um, every corner is a pizza place. Because <laughs> the only Main Street building that you can fit on a corner, uh, which is why I, like, stopped doing that a little bit here. Like, I didn't put that in a corner there, didn't put that in a corner there. This is a restaurant. There's a fence here. I can't, you know, I can only do so much. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know if I'll ever finish this toy box. Um... Specifically, this toy box is Main Street. There's no way you can actually fit the entire castle in there. Uh, I'm sorry, the entire park into one toy box. So I was going to have Main Street be one, and then likely uh, Tomorrowland would be one, Fantasyland would be one, and then uh, possibly Adventureland. we got Star Wars Land coming too, which I could probably build. Um, went to Disneyland this weekend for game days for Mega64. Um, <clears throat> got a close-up look at the new Star Wars Land. It's still a big pile of dirt. Uh, there's no, there's not a lot of, there's not fun stuff really taking shape there yet, so. Um, but here we are on Main Street. Um, so hey everybody, I haven't been to Disneyland in 12 years, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I, I reached out uh, to uh, some people on Twitter, just saying, hey, I'm at Disneyland today, I'm going to be at the Matterhorn at 4pm if any of you guys want to stop by. And some people, one person replied to me and said, I've never been to Disneyland. And I was like, I don't know how to reply to that, I'm so sorry. Um, I love this park. Uh, and I was just there, so. I am, um. I am very to the letter about um, this toy box. I'm, I'm really not going to add anything unless I feel it like accurately represents um, what this park looks like. So this is the best that I could do <clears throat> actually trying to realize where the sidewalks are, where the trees are, where the signs are, how far apart the buildings are, um, and what actually goes where 
uh, just using the tools with, uh, with inside Disney Infinity. Um, will you put the Walt statue as the final piece? Just put the toy box to rest? Yeah, I should. Um, I need to get my, uh, my band out. I think I actually have it in there. I'm going to probably do that today. Um, so, so this is relatively, if you look on Google Maps and you figure out how far stuff is from each other, um, this is basically as, 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 as long as Main Street is. And like all the other toy boxes I built, they put the new trash cans in, 3.0. I love it. Um, uh, with everything I build, I, I tend to go a little bigger than necessary. So uh, this, oh, there it is. I wonder where that, uh, when, I, when I loaded it up, the sky was very dark and spooky. And like, I was, I think I was, I think I was, because some of these pictures uh, on Google Maps, you will see, are taken uh, at different times of day. So um, <clears throat> I just haven't talked a lot today. Thoraxis, sorry. Yeah, just got to clear out. Clear that out. Long day. I was very, uh, very serious waiting in line to vote today at my polling place, so uh, my voice will improve. Very excited that these things lined up, that these actually fit in the middle there. And of course, we're missing a very important statue, but that is kind of the cherry on the sundae, if you will. So, <clears throat> so what I would like to do is, I mean, we can work on the castle. Let me actually show you what, where, where, where the castle's at. So this the castle is not like a castle you can just drop in. Um, there is a base, like, simple castle. Um, that has little walkways on the side um, that does not look like Cinderella's castle. Um, you can basically see what Cinderella's castle looks like. Hello, little people. I would like to get down to people view. Yeah. So you can see the castle's <clears throat> specific where spires are and stuff like that. And so tried to recreate that at a distance. You'll see that what I created in here is obviously way bigger than the actual castle is, especially going near the back. Um, but it was important that it not only looked like the castle from the front, but it looks like the castle from the back as well. And so when you're actually in Fantasyland here, um, which uh, I guess I'm not going to build because we're running out of space. And it's tricky too because you got the bridge here, and the bridge actually isn't that tall. Um, and it's, you can't go like under it. It's actually all filled in. But this is, this is the Disney Infinity Bridge. What are you going to do? If you want to make something, you know, that is the, the bridge leading up to the castle. We got a little drawbridge floor there. So, <clears throat> well, my main goals are, just size-wise, is putting some stuff here, just kind of like an entrance to uh, Tomorrowland, and putting something here, an entrance to Frontierland, and over in the corner here, an entrance to um, Adventureland. <clears throat> and when I was first trying to build a toy box and I got to the end of Main Street, I was trying to figure out this whole, like, area, and one of the tricky things about building Disneyland inside of Disney Infinity... It's Disneyland, as you can see, uh, going out to the map, there's a lot of circles in Disneyland. And Infinity doesn't do circles very well. There's a lot of like... <clears throat> so you can see this corner here where all of this stuff is. There's not a lot of straight lines. There's not a lot of like, oh, you just go up to the corner here and then take a left. It's like, it's kind of swirly. There's a lot of like corners of buildings and curves and stuff like that. Um, so... So it's funny, it actually looks like Adventureland's closed off, but this is, yeah, so there's your advent entrance into Adventureland right there. So you could say it's pretty much exactly on the corner there. Uh, we have these tables right here, which are, um, which are these tables, but I guess we're going to actually have to build, we got to get some blocks out here, folks, because we have uh, another area where you can eat, but that area is elevated. So if you actually get down here, it's dark, but... Love this. Love that like the lights are still going, just no one's around. I wonder if they were testing the show late at night and an employee took this. But So you can see this fence here, uh, and you can see this restaurant, which is themed after uh, Mary Poppins. Um, got some trash cans here that we're going to have to put in. So we have the tables here that we've already put in that you're looking at right now. Then we have this little dining area. So <clears throat> let's break out some boxes, try to shape that thing, and try to make it look like, not this photograph, but... Uh, the aerial photograph. So when we get up high, let's try to make it look like that. And we already have <clears throat> no Vader paint job. You're not going to be in here. And we already have the dimensions of this like middle area, which again, like I said, is a circle in the actual you know the corner, middle of Main Street, you know, or the middle of the park. Everybody knows it, but not so much with the circles. You can make little squiggly lines, but I don't. I do not enjoy that uh, aesthetic. Disneyland MMO. Don't get me started. Yes, I want a Disneyland MMO. I want a Disneyland game where you walk around and you go on all the rides. I want Disney to do all of the things with the video games, which is hard to do when you don't have a company 
that is making video games. Uh, okay. So that thing starts... We got that tree over there. This the, the... It's tough, because I'd love a block that's like smaller than that, but... It's not, unfortunately, so... We're stuck with that. And then... So that doesn't go all the way. It goes all the way to the adventure, the entrance of Adventureland. I never noticed that. That like right there, that's just like pretty much blocked off. Right there. See, so there's like a wall you got to go around. Okay. So that starts on the near the end of these tables, goes up, then goes off to the corner, and then. Yeah, the entrance to eventually it's got to be like right there. So I guess we'll maybe do that. And that will be this restaurant. Or rather, <clears throat> where the tables are. Again, one thing that would be great um, in a 4.0, uh, which likely will not, but uh, could potentially happen someday, is um, uh, it'd be nice to have half blocks. So things that aren't, that are like these blocks, but are squished, that are half the size. Same width, um, same length, but the height, uh, make it half. Because I want to make a little platform here, and to make a platform, I gotta make this, you know, make it huge. Um, can I walk up a wedge block? Cool. Maybe make that a little bit closer to the road. I don't know. There's like a walkway over here. So yeah, I'm just trying to imagine like a lot of times I'll go on like Haunted Mansion late at night, like before I leave the park. So I'll be like walking around here. I'm just like, oh, are they about to do a parade? Okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna go home. And yeah, it's got to be... Can maybe get it a little closer. Maybe add like a couple more blocks there. Again, another reason why I'm doing this on election day is because... Just take you know, taking it easy. This is going to be a very, a very calm stream, everybody. Not a lot of stress today. Um, so okay, so we got getting back in here. You can see the tiki room, which is tucked in. Uh, so if these tables are right there and that's there, so there's only yeah, there's only more space. So we're gonna get into tiki territory. We'll go over there and figure that out. Yeah, how far away would Tiki Room be from those roads? From the edge of that road. Eh, it's not that far. I'm gonna do one more block. You know, because I really want to get down to street level and just have it all fit, but it just, you know, the toy box is, is, uh, is big and blocky, so. Thorns, we're just taking it easy. Easy like Sunday morning. To quote SpongeBob. Metal Gear, uh, resubscribed Metal Gear S Metal Metal L Warrior and Metal Gear XXX, both resubbed same time. Elephant earlier, we caught Elephant, but everybody with the resubs today, thank you so much. They have a Roger Rabbit ride. Um, that is a Roger Rabbit ride. Oh, are you looking up? <laughs> uh, did I, I did play the Disney and uh, uh, the Disney Connect game? I do own that. Um, and that's fun okay so yeah so I don't know if we need to build maybe we can just throw a couple tiki things down and make that like the pseudo entrance to Adventureland but let's uh let's actually get down there let's figure yeah you thank you for taking that picture right there perfect yes so this this we're going in to Adventureland and this is actually great because there's just this like sliver of plant something there. So would they, you know, there's a item for that. We got these oh, these trash cans everywhere, which is so great. These Main Street trash cans. Okay. Um, and it's tricky too because there's also like little fenced off things and stuff. So we got to like put all these little barriers here now. But uh, yeah, so if Tink was looking at this from exactly this angle, she'd be like here. It should be like right about there. Okay. So, but see, I can't. See, here's the bummer. I'm just setting myself up for heartbreak. Even if we want to add this thing right now, it's got to be 
I can't do it diagonally. I don't want it to face that way or that way. I want it to face <laughs> down the corner, <laughs> you know, because like, again, everything, there's not a lot of right angles. And once, once you get past Main Street, there's not a lot of right angles in Disneyland. Everything's all like wobbly. So uh, as far as the street is concerned, but I guess, I guess it would probably be cleanest to go horizontally. And then, oops, sorry. Uh, nope, go back. There we go. <coughs> so, and that's bigger. That's like a bigger plant thing. But I guess we can maybe do the same thing, or. Um, that's the walkway. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, what if we do that and then do something like... Not you. Not you. Isn't there? Yeah. There we go. kind of feeling it because i'm telling you like sometimes when you're when you're in the park late at night and there's like a parade going on when you're walking back to main street going this way or going that way is like life and death man it's like it's intense when there's so many people there waiting to see a fireworks show or, or other stuff okay it's kind of starting to maybe sort of a little bit look like a toy version of disneyland perhaps if you squint real hard um so, okay, so there's some placement stuff there. I'm liking that. I don't want to get too far into Adventureland and Frontierland. That's a lie. I actually do want to look at Frontierland a little bit more. What kind soul took a picture right in front of Frontierland? Not a lot of people. Not. I wonder how this photograph was taken on the water. Yeah, that's not where that is. That's not at all where that is. That's very much not in that location whatsoever. That dot should be right there. Um, shucks, I think we got to count on this person for our Frontierland entrance perspective, which is not super great. Um, okay, um, I guess we'll just do the same thing. So we need to know, I guess we'll go up from above. We got to nuke it from orbit. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much a straight line, straight there through Frontierland, so... But there's like a bridge going into Frontierland, so, but it's not like a bridge. I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to, I'm just going to put a road down, or I'm just going to put, uh, um, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, just a floor block. Okay, yeah, look at that. It actually lines up perfectly. Okay, so that's the middle. That dot is the middle. Let's go to blocks. Um, went to Disneyland this weekend, bumped into some Mega64 fans who are also not only allies, but patrons. Uh, and the, the best part, um, was, uh, I think my favorite part of the day, yeah, yeah, I don't like you being that big. Uh, bumped into Mr. Devin Gibbs. Devin Gibbs, who was one of our very first, um, sponsors, uh, on Podcast Halftime. So, um, Mr. Devin Gibbs says hi. To all the allies around the world. Um, I don't know why I don't style these before I drop them down. Apologies also for like, you know, literally heaven looking in through the windows right now. It's like super bright behind me. Um, but uh, what are you going to do? I got to get some curtains back there. Got to make some small improvements. Hey, Sophie, you want to say hi to everybody? Come on up. Come on, Soph. Yeah. So he's like, I went to Disneyland once and it was the worst thing ever. <laughs> One time, because we, we, you know, Amanda and I had never had a dog, and so we owned a dog, and I'm like, hey, we're going to Disneyland. There's a kennel there where there's dogs. It seems like a cool place. Maybe Sophie might like hanging out at Disneyland. Um, and so I did get to go to Disneyland with Sophie. I did get to walk around. I mean, not to, sorry, like be a nerd for five seconds, but like Sophie's been... Sophie's been here. 
Sophie's walked in front. Sophie's seen the front of Disneyland. And the kennel's like over here. And then Sophie was like, where are we going? And then I'm like, we're going over this nice little kennel. And there's a little building over here. Really nice people. And they have a little patio that you can go out that has grass and it has, you know, a little social area. And like, yeah, they're in cages, but they're big cages. And like, you know, there's, but there's just dogs everywhere. And we didn't own Sophie for a really long time. And Sophie was not into it. <laughs> but we were already there. And so I was like, okay, Sophie, we're just going to go in for a little bit. And I think we went inside for like three or four hours. And then we came back outside to get her. But when we came back in to get Sophie, Sophie was like, let's get out of here. And I think, you know, a lot of that was maybe just um, other people, other dogs there with her that were that were not having it. That were just kind of freaking out a little bit. And so, wasn't anything she particularly didn't like about the space. She just didn't like the company of the other dogs that were there. And were being freakaway dogs. Okay, so, cool. Might make this kind of minimal because we have these other... Uh, Got these water blocks. So that goes straight into, uh, there's, is there water over here too? No, there's water over here. Oh boy, we're running out of space here. Oh no, but we could put water in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so let's do, let's actually, hold on. Actually, hit you, theme you, make you water. Now we need a sad Sophia mode. Well, see, Sophie carries all of her emotions with intensity, and so it's like, if, if Sophie's sad, it's, you know, she doesn't like, put on like sad face, it's like, you know, <laughs> it's like, I am sad, you need to do something about it. Like, oh, okay, Sophie, all right, all right, let's get out of here. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll do this. This is all water over here. Even though that's just a little bit weird. No, I'm a huge fan of that. Let's start it here. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, looks great. Okay, so is that... No, so that actually goes up around the corner, but I'll just put in three blocks for now. Just to make it nice and even, and then we can shape the rest of this later if we want to. We're already at halfway capacity, so. Um, and I'll be scratching. And I might change the theme of these as well to something more Frontierland, but. Uh, put another one up here. Okay. Wow, it's actually kind of. Kind of coming together. I was very hasty the first time I built this toy box in Disney Infinity 1.0. So this kind of entrance lining everything up where it needed to be. And again, it's like having the circles, you know, for Main Street. Having this thing not be a circle. Like this is, is frustrating. But you can kind of see. Hold on. Frustrating that I can't hold Tink there. Okay, hold on, Tink. In that position. But... You know, we're specifically focusing on this area here. So just like really, just distance. Basically, how long is this, and how long, how big is this? So that's hold on a second. Sorry, that is fifty feet. Is I don't know if you, you soft screen, you can't see the mouse when I measure that, but that is fifty feet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say six maybe spaces. Actually, take these away to make this quick. So we can pick a thing for this, which is going to be the drawbridge going in. Bright tree village flow. No, I'd like something a little more looking at like it was made in the 1800s and not just like a finely polished new kitchen counter. There's lots of little fun wood options. Nope. Simulated wood. That That is not the wood I'm looking for. That is incorrect as well. Would like something a little more natural, but I'm feeling we might have to go back. You'd think for all of the times on Toy Box Tuesday that I've gone through these patterns and looked at this stuff, you'd think I would just, I would have the order committed. Yeah, there we go. That's the drawbridge too, right? Imagine that's the same texture I used for the drawbridge, probably. Yep. Looks 
doesn't like it. But it works. Uh, okay. So who are you? I'm setting that theme so I can copy-paste you now. Oh. What I say? Six, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, perfect. And I think... It looks like it doesn't actually start with the bridge for a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it's concrete and then it, the bridge starts right there. So it looks like... Yeah, it looks like for two blocks, it doesn't do that, so... For two blocks, it is still concrete. And then you get the bridge, and then it's like, yeah, we're going to Frontierland, woo! And then, there's the entrance to Frontierland, and maybe we'll mark that. That's gonna be kind of tricky to build. How big are these block walls? I just, because I just don't know if that... Oh, I might have to ask more blocks in. So I just don't know if that, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something like this. Again, I, you know, I don't want to rush it and put it in now, but it's like, eh, it'll probably have to be something like that. Um, yeah, I'll just do that. You're in Frontierland now. Frontierland hype! How is it? I'm bummed nobody took pictures of Frontierland. It's like, come on, nobody's in here. Look at that space. It's like, ah, look at what I get. I should. I gotta take pictures. That's the thing. I gotta go check. Maybe we can like zoom in from this shot. I guess. How far did that bridge go? Yeah, that bridge definitely doesn't go up to the entrance. There's definitely okay. So, no need. No need. Right. Yeah. Put you in. It's a super short bridge, though. Well, I guess it. I guess no. Well, I guess it is. Okay. Well, now that kind of ends there. I'll accept that. I'll buy that. So that's that entrance. That lines up with that thing. That lines up with that thing. Everybody's happy. Uh, Frontierland. Yeah, New Orleans Square is probably is my favorite land. I uh, love Frontierland though because um, uh, Walt really, really liked Frontierland. Walt was really big on trains uh, and. You know, it kind of makes sense for a train to roll into a station that's like 1920s, you know, middle America, Americana. But like, super makes sense when that train, and like when the train rolls into space, you know, to Tomorrowland, it's like, okay. And Fantasyland's like, I guess, I guess like Mickey would have a train. But like when that thing rolls into Frontierland, when like New Orleans Square, right out in front of, you know, uh, the Haunted Mansion and everything, it just fits that area like really, really well, I think more than anything. Um, and Walt, the man had a train around his house. The man liked the Old West a lot. The original Disneyland was extremely sparse. Let me tell you, I would do some horrible things to get to go to that original incarnation of, uh, incarnation of Disneyland. Because there was just, you'd ride, the tra you'd ride the train around this park. Wait, go to Google Maps. Like this place where Star Wars Land is going to be built, Star Wars Land is going to be like here. Like this is Star Wars Land now. They basically knocked all of this out. This is this is like where the horses live, and there's like storage. This is where they keep a lot of the um, the uh, the cars. Like basically, like what you're riding in. A lot of that stuff gets stored and serviced in here. Uh, but um, uh, and uh, the train lives over here. In case you're curious, that's like where the train is at night. But um, uh, so they knocked all this out. All this is gonna be Star Wars Land. Um, but uh, in the original Disneyland, this was like desert. Like, like you would ride around and there would be like not animatronic Indians, like Native Americans, like, you know, just statues of them, like sitting around teepees with like geysers. Like that was it, you know, that you would just get on that train to just, you know, like not hear narration or anything just to just to appreciate these, the, you know, the, the ability to go to a park and see different changes in scenery. Blah, 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 blah. Let's build Adventureland. Um, somebody take a picture for an Adventureland? They did. Sweet. Strollers, strollers. Looks like it's a little wet. Looks like it's raining. We got we got a hand in there. This guy picked a bat. He's, he's pissed. He's wearing shorts today. Um, cool. So we got we got the, the shack vibe uh, going into Adventureland. Definitely got to change the floor there because we change uh, the style of the floor. But we've seen... You can see this wall, basically. Um, that I guess is brick. Look at that. I guess that's brick. Make that brick. 
Uh, yeah, of course it would be brick. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, it's horrible to do the Google Maps too because one of my favorite things about going to the airport or going to Disneyland or going to the library or going to Universal Studios, I love people watching. Because I love storytelling and people are, every person's a story and so it's just fascinating. Brick one? Yeah, it's like super red, but brick one it is. Um, actually... Uh, and so Google Maps is fun too because you just you see people and you wonder like what what was your Disneyland day like that day? Where are you from? Were you local? Are you coming in from out of town? Like are you having fun? Are you actually having a good time? Or are you just like keeping the kids happy? Just thinking about being someplace else. No, don't draw those. Wait. So I said that. As the thing. Like that guy right there, scratching his head. That guy did not think that he was going to be on Twitch. You know? He was not thinking of Toy Box Tuesday at that moment. But now I'm here for Toy Box Tuesday, and I'm thinking about him. Wondering what the next ride he went on was. Like, are they, are they there because they're going to watch a parade, or are they going to go into the Tiki Room? Are they going to get a Dole Whip? One, one, one wonders. Yeah, these restaurants are just going to get butchered, man. Like, this, there's another one over here that I eat at a lot. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just, it's not, proportionally, it's just not going to work out. It's going to be like the idea of this restaurant, but not the, not that restaurant at all. And Rick. Because look at that brick there. That brick's kind of like a little, little brownish. You know? A little magenta in there. Um, but, uh, nope. Once you realize it. Once you actually put it in the toy box, everything changes. Um, so, yeah, cool. We got a little fencing here. Again, that's details. We just kind of... And we'll do the Tiki Room later. But it's... Uh, let's explore... Nice hair. Uh, let's explore... The Adventureland... Block options. Um... Do we have, like, Tiki Huts? Sorry, this might take a bit. Because we need to go into group sets. And group sets can take a while. Frontierland, I imagine, is going to have lots of Endor influences. Um, ooh. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's very Frontierland. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I gotta, like... I'm just putting these... I'm just putting that there to, like, remember... But like, oh, thank you, Ewok Village. Yes. Okay. Um, there's little torches and stuff. Sweet. Um, because I know this is going to be Adventureland. Uh, and how great is this? Like, if these are the shops, like, not to, like, jump ahead because I can just erase these really quick, but, like, you know, like, the shops where you go and um, along the side here. It's like, how great is this? You know? It looks just like the... It's like, oh, yeah, it's like I'm in Adventureland, you know? And then, like, not, you can go, like, actually into the shops, but there's these little, like, little areas they put little, like, stuffed animals and stuff like that outside, and then, you know. And this can, this can also double as the Jungle Cruise. Um, I can actually see if I have an old an old uh, uh, Disneyland that I was building, because I did go into Adventureland, and definitely, definitely more than I did uh, Tomorrowland. Um, and it's funny, because they actually have Tomorrowland things you can use now. Like, <clears throat> things that are labeled Tomorrowland, but they're labeled after Tomorrowland the movie, not Tomorrowland the land. And so, some of them are like, that doesn't look like Tomorrowland at all. That doesn't look like the old version of Tomorrowland or the new version of Tomorrowland. That just looks like your weird George Clooney film. Which I haven't seen, admittedly. Here it is. Yeah, look. It's like, what? There's none of that. Huh? That's not... What? That doesn't help me build... What? I guess. I guess to be, you know, true to the name... I gotta pick this stuff, but it's like hydroponic towers? I don't remember what. Okay. Too bad we're not building Epcot. Otherwise, a lot of this uh, global decorations would be used. Okay, got distracted for a second there. We need, we're looking for Adventureland. We're looking for Tiki Huts. Well, the next project to recreate Disneyland and Lego Worlds, Kill Striker? Yes. I mean, 
that I want to do that because I, you could really, really do that. You could, you could do it. <laughs> there would be very little limitations other than having to go to Disneyland a lot more than I typically do, which is a lot, and take pictures of just absolutely every small, tiny detail because you could really create anything. Um, I think, oh, boom, we got Frontier, Frontier Fort, top large corner. Yeah, it's like, there's a Frontier Fort wall. Yeah, let me like throw that over there too, so I remember to use that. Frontier Guard Tower? Oh yeah, you can just Frontier Land all over the place in here. I guess that has to be the entrance. That's a small, super small entrance. I might have to make it like simulated wood so that it matches up. I guess I can just do this and stack those up. All right, I'm gonna put these here for now. Remind myself of these pieces. I'll stack them up. There we go. I keep looking for things and then I keep adding things to Frontierland. Adventureland. Focus. Focus. What about getting a copyright strike by Disney? Um, that'd be great. Well, I wouldn't try to, like, sell it. I wouldn't actually, like, be taking their official logos and adding it in there. I'd be making little Lego versions of them. I wouldn't add any music to it. Um, if I made it an official save file, I wouldn't call it Disneyland. I would call it, like, the Happy Kingdom or something. It'd be an homage. Well, never got to build a bridge there. Yeah, good stuff. Um, okay. Going through the building sets. Looking for something for Adventureland. Spouse Quest, Harry Potter World, and Fantastic Beast Story Pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll definitely be a Spouse Quest. Although we can't really... I guess you can play co-op, can you? Yeah, you can play co-op. What am I talking about? Dimensions, of course you can. Yeah, so that's an excellent idea. When does that come out? Okay, so not group four. Sorry. Back to, nope, go to five, there you go. Disneyland, perfect crime. Tatooine? Nope. Not exactly. Geonosis? No, nope. not what I'm looking for. Proportion in, in Infinity is is interesting. Um, like, I laid out the Jungle Cruise. Like, exactly how, how wide the rivers are and exactly what size it is. And then... Uh, oh, this is fun, too. I just want to put that in there just for kicks for now. But, like, how great is this? This is like, this would be like here. <laughs> and that's the entrance to Aladdin's uh, restaurant. So you can totally do that. You can have it look like exactly like it is. Okay, here we go. More into more adventure lights. Agrabah, no. Well, not so much. Okay. But Agrabah set, we will be back when we're building Adventureland for sure. I thought there were huts. I thought there were like thatched roof huts. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not in building sets. Maybe it's just in buildings. We got one more group to go. Right? Yeah. Maybe it's in set pieces. There's no Frozen Land. Sorry, Frozen. You're not going on my Disneyland map. Sorry. Why? Well, I guess not. Do, 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 do. Um, cool, I just want to see if anybody's like yelling where I could find some, and I'm missing that. Um, before we get worlds, we need some dimensions, love. Yeah, we, I'm definitely going to play more dimensions, for sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe I'm tripping. I mean, set pieces. Like 
Set pieces are great because there's like a lot of stuff. You can just very easily. I love how King Louis' throne looks a lot like the Indiana Jones ride. <laughs> so yeah, King Louis' throne is definitely going to be the Indy ride. Maybe the back of it. Maybe we'll just have it like that. Um, but Monstro, of course, straight from the park. Um, that makes me think of Dragon Quest Builders. Snow Ship is pretty fun. I wonder if that's from something specific or just a fun toy. So yeah, they say this is Cinderella's Castle, but I don't know if that... I wonder if Cinderella's Castle actually looks like that. Um, nice. Yeah, no, uh, we got Small World. We got Small World back there. Um, and I mean, might as well just, you know, put that here. Let's figure it out. Wait, wait, where would that... That would be right about there. Um... Bummer, so I guess... Yeah, not so much. With the thatched roofs. Maybe it's just like a pattern we can do. But yeah, I guess we'll put some blocks in for now. Have some regular columns. We'll just make our mark. You guys, tall block. Um, okay, so if we're going in through here, so this is this walkway. Yeah, and that sucker leads like straight into that like little hut thing on the side. We would need another one. Oh, so I guess the I guess that's the whole length of that. I guess we'll just make that that big. Can't put this block. Let's actually zoom out and see if those things line up. The entrance to Frontierland and the entrance to Adventureland. Yeah, I guess they're about. Yeah, it's about the same size. Maybe the. Looks like the entrance to Adventureland is actually a little bit further back. We're in the same place for now. So that would be one space. Two spaces wide. Agonizing, man. Like I really don't I really want this to line up. Because you can just tell. Like once you put it in it doesn't work. It's like that doesn't look right. And then Yeah, so this would be the actual entrance, and then Tiki Room would be here. So you're not, you're further down. Thanks. Get rid of you for now. Um, so yeah, so the entrance, the tiki room and the bar. You get your, your dole whip. It's right there. What if we have fencing we can put there? I guess we can just put blocks for now. Lots of blocks, lots of blocks, lots of blocks. And yeah, we can maybe do one of these too. Not a ramp block, but a... Uh, one of those little cool curvy blocks. Not an arch block. Those aren't very big, right? Yeah, the entrance to... Eventually it's bigger than that. But there's like these guys, the long support arch. Does it never fit the way you want them to? Yay! And that can't be that tall. That can't even be... But it is... It is shaped like that. What is this? A short support arch? There we go! Okay, now we're talking. Okay. That's not that high up. That's like super high up. 
Let's just drop it a little bit. All right. Um, hey, which Disneyland is this that you're making? Uh, Paris or Florida? They, well, there are other Disneylands. Um, it's interesting, actually, that uh, you asked, quote unquote, which Disneyland am I making? If you just say Disneyland, if you if you just that's it, Disneyland. There's only one place that's that. There's only one park that is called Disneyland, and that is uh, Disneyland. It's the, the original Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California, the one that Disney is actually that actually went to in his lifetime. Um, the park in Florida is called the Magic Kingdom, uh, and it is in, Di or you can refer to it as Disney World. Um, uh, which is the easy way, but Disney World is technically the entire place. And then there is Disneyland Paris. I believe it's not Disneyland Shanghai, it's Shanghai Disneyland. Um, but if you say Disneyland to me, that's what I think you mean. Is Disneyland. So yeah. Here we go. Maybe we can spice it up with a little bit of not brick texture. Just for now. You can maybe... Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Cobblestone? No. Flagstone? No. Not terrible. Kiln? Iron rivets? Tin roof? Tin roof! Rusted. Plank isn't terrible. Yeah, I don't hate plank. I think we're gonna maybe go for plank for now. Because it's different. I don't think I've ever used plank for anything before. So it's nice to, like, change it up. Let me just make sure there's no, like, cool straw. Actually, I mean, I'll make this, like, one of the brighter wood hut roofs. No. Ooh. I don't hate that, actually. Very cool. Just for now. Just a filler. Again, like, these are a lot of the things that I'm doing today are just placeholder stuff. So I just know, like, this is where this is. I can spend all day, if I want, trying to figure out what texture to stuff. When was the first time you ever went to Disneyland? What were your first impressions? Uh, the first time I ever went to Disneyland, I was two years old. Um, I rode... Uh, um, Space Mountain, I believe, at two, because uh, I think I was tall enough, and I was like, "Oh, I gotta go on this! I gotta go on this!" And my mom was like, "You are uh, maybe not two, but like when I was tall enough, I think my mom thought I was too young to go on the ride, um, and uh, but I was tall enough, and so I just kept asking and asking and asking, and my mom finally like broke down and was like, "Okay, fine." You want to you want to be terrified? Like you want to go on this ride and have it freak you out? Be my guest. And I loved it. I was not scared at all. I went on it and it was like the greatest thing ever. Um, uh, so yeah, the one of the apparently one of the first things I ever did at Disneyland that was profound was um, I rode uh, Space Mountain and uh, greatly enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, there might be things. I know we got tiki decorations. I'm just dying to put some tiki's down here. Because again, we're stopping it at Adventureland. We're not building, we're not building anything into Adventureland. Maybe like a little background if we have space. But um, what about decorations? Babington, eight months in a row. The very serious resub. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm looking for decorations. Boom. Okay, where are they? Where are you, you tiki things? You would only use in a very specific circumstance. These things aren't going to double for something else. These are tiki statues. Yes, yes, scary. I am Tongaroa. So yeah, boom. Tiki room, if you're so inclined. Cool, an Adventureland sign. See, look at that. You got Adventureland and Frontierland. 
Adventureland, Frontierland is a straight shot. Frontierland, if you're facing north, if you take a left, you do west, you go straight into Adventureland. Uh, sorry, Frontierland. Adventureland's a little, little slanted, a little slanted south, um, but we cannot simulate that, unfortunately, in Disney Infinity, and so we got to make that a little bit bigger. So, yeah, so we started. We didn't have any of this stuff today, and this is what we have. This is what we have added in. It's taken us an hour. Uh, so let us cross the way, and let us take a look over here. What's going on over? Eater. Okay, nice, nice bright sunny day, D Land. What's up? Uh, not, not where that is. Uh, many of these are incorrect. Yeah, that is not, that is not where that is. That's not right there. Not to be that guy. This one's right. Okay, so when the road ends over there, we got these little, we got the straight road. And there's, I don't think we need to worry about any crazy pavement or anything for now. And then we got this big thingamajob right in front of you. And we got these. Um, so I think I'm going to put this in to kind of mark where Tomorrowland is. Maybe have the track back there and maybe some little decorations and stuff. But like not a lot going on. Uh, we have benches and stuff like that we could put in. Obviously we have trees. We need to figure out what trees we need and where those are going to go. But for right now we're just kind of marking this. So we have this thing, which they definitely have that design. We can throw that in. Um... We got the fence up front too, so maybe we should fence that off somehow. Figure out. Just gotta go back to spark mode. Figure out where that would be. I guess. Actually, I'm gonna put down some blocks, just to know measurements. Not a large floor, but a small floor. Okay, so that lines up with that. Sorry. That's the middle there. And then what did we do? I just used that as the middle point and went left and right? Okay. I guess we can do that. If I'm looking down there. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, yeah, not, I uh, can't really see. Is there, is there a firework going off? Yay! Woohoo! Oh, it's fun. Fireworks are fun, but back to work. Um. No, these are, uh, Good spot for fireworks, though. Good place to stand for the fireworks. There we go. There we go. I love it. I love it when it's like moody and rainy and stuff like this at Disneyland. Um, Jones, don't you love it when it's anything at Disneyland? Yes! What's your point? Okay. So. So, sorry. So, yeah, that. Again, it curves, but like, I, can't, I can't curve, so I just have to put a thing like right there. And I guess. This walkway really just looks a little bit bigger than the, than the entrance to Frontierland. So, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna start my little plant thing. Not terrain, plants. Start this guy over there and then Okay, yeah, how does that work? So there's like water. Oh boy. Where does that end? So you got this little pond here. Oh boy, are we running out of room. So I guess we can't make it this that big, actually. Um, so we'll use one of these guys. Sure. Yeah. Okay, and then let's go find the blocks. Might have to be terrain. Might have to go into terrain. Which will be interesting. What's your favorite non-ride thing to do at Disney? Non-ride thing. Honestly, uh, to get a beer and like some popcorn or a snack 
and hang out and watch a parade or just watch people. Um, uh, yeah, either that or a fireworks show. A fireworks show at the end of the day is really great. Um, uh, okay, sorry. What the heck was I doing? I'm trying to get... Oh, terrain. When they started serving beer in California Ventros. Do it, Disney. Do it. And so far, so good. People haven't been dumb. Somebody was dumb and jumped out of the... Not the people mover, but the Skyway. And so no more Skyway for anybody. Like, thanks a lot, dude. And so they started serving beer, and I was like, oh, please don't have someone do something really stupid. And then they're like, oh, that's it. Can No more beer at Disneyland. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. Um, yeah, Haley, I'm keeping, I'm hanging on to my inner kid as long as I possibly can. Okay, so, so again, we got these, like, these rocks. These rocks that are all kind of in a circle pointing towards Disneyland. We got this little path here. I don't think this path is going to make it. I think this path is so wobbly and intricate. Uh, I think I'm just going to completely just retcon that path. Uh, look at all these little umbrellas. I'm going to build this restaurant too. But we need to figure out where that restaurant is in relation to this thing that we are about to build. Now, I think at one of the Toy Box Summits, somebody actually had I might actually have to like download their toy box and figure out exactly what shape they used. But they used a part of terrain to make these guys, to make these like jutting rock formations. And it was so cool. It's perfect. I remember when they showed it off, I got a big laugh from the room because people were like, yes, that's exactly what that looks like. And I can't find it. What was that overhanging ledge? No. Cliff ledge, no. Uh, so it's 1130 right now in Southern California. Uh, Mr. Ian Hink is going to be stopping by at 1230. We're actually going to shoot something. Um, I don't know what, but uh, so I got to bail by then, maybe a little bit earlier. Oh, no. It shows mid-afternoon loose random celebratory fireworks, causing me to almost choke on pizza and root beer. Spectacular. She's excited. She's excited. She's dancing. She's dancing. Dance break, everybody. Dance break. Thinking of getting Lego Dimensions, what character level packs would you recommend? Hi. Bye, guys. Oh, that was it. Okay. Can the door open? Sure. Uh, we'll shut the door, but if she... She can come around the back and, oh, yeah. and pout oh, yeah, at the door if she wants back here. All right. Um, what Lego things are great? Uh, I recommend... Um, anyone that can fly, uh, so that would be Superman, um, uh, the Wicked, Wicked, the, the Wicked Witch of the West can fly, um, Wonder Woman can fly, Wonder Woman and Superman are also invincible, I believe, uh, and I don't remember what other characters can fly, but that's, that's so helpful, especially also in Disney Infinity too, like any, any time you can grab characters that can fly, do it, um, uh, but as far as level packs, I don't, it's like the, the quality and the play sets in Infinity, I thought fluctuated a lot, actually. There were like play sets I would not recommend and play sets that I think are really great. Uh, where the level packs in, uh, Dimensions, I think are all pretty much on par. Doctor Who is really good. Um, Doctor Who is also good because you get Doctor Who, you get that character. So it's fun to play as Doctor Who during a lot of the campaign stuff, um, uh, within Lego Dimensions. Uh, yeah, the DC Comics World, not the level pack, but, like, the world that was created, I was not a big fan of. It's kind of, like, patchwork. Um, Midway is interesting because it includes all of the classic Midway games, so it's, it's, it's an, an interesting value in that way. <laughs> I'm not seeing this rock formation. I'm not seeing something I can use. <laughs> got a mountain tunnel, that's too big. Mountain cave, too big. Volcano, too big. Yeah, I think they used these. Small mountaintop. I think they used these, but these are obviously just like ridiculously huge. We got a small mountaintop peak and a small mountaintop. Again, maybe just put these here as markers. Um, 
And then we'll uh, figure out something later. They're not like terrible, you know. And again, you gotta you gotta use what you're given. But these have to be orange. I mean, they don't look orange at all in that picture. They look like gray. But uh, they're definitely orange. Or brownish. The Golden Realm of Asgard. Yeah, that's a little too much. Tatooine Desert. Yeah, Tatooine. See, it's like, that's not, that doesn't look like that at all. It's like, Tatooine Desert looks like sand. It's like, that doesn't, that's like a dark brown. It's actually like way better. Eelis Tropical Paradise, no. Well, that's what it looks like from above. Buried Treasures. Not really. Desert landscape? Yeah, that's kind of what it is. I'll go with Desert Landscape. For now. Tomorrowland. Okay, what on earth is gonna be this thing? How in the world... Like, uh, uh, okay. Uh, and then we got this little, like, rock thing. Here, wait, let's see if we got a little, little tiny terrain something. That we can put up there. <clears throat> I don't think so. Tiny and terrain don't are not often associated together in the same sense. Might just have to be a weird block. I'm feeling a weird block coming at you. Weird block it is. Okay. <coughs> ah, sorry. I got a tickle in my throat today. So emotional because it's election day. Um, all of you have been amazing so far. Uh, in chat, as far as the election, uh, sorry to bring it up, but uh, just remember we we're here. We're here to talk Disneyland. We're here to have fun. So we have these crazy shapes. So we can like build this thing if we want. Uh, but um, well, I thought there would be like an interesting, weird shaped thing. But I guess we just gotta make it just a block. Is that what we're doing? Is that how dull this is gonna be? We're just gonna make it a block. How far away is that from? Uh, Entrance. I guess it's like lined up. Oh, actually, easiest way to figure that out. Yeah, it's lined up right at the end. Okay, so. Yeah, black <clears throat> I'll make that potentially rock ish. Rock. Sure, why not? I'll put that there for now. Put a little sign on it or something. Okay, and then we have this circle area, which again, circles are not easy. What is that like a fence or something or like what? I don't know, like corner fences or something, right? Um, I want to block you off from that area. So wait, let me see. Let me get back to blocks. Where do blocks go? Actually, you know what? You know what, Tank? You've done so much magic today. That. I think we should save it. <laughs> How about that? How about we do that? I love this still though of of Mickey looking at like wow look at look at Main Street. I love that. Sorry, right, saving over it. Are there no Final Fantasy fifteen review copies going out? Maybe soon. Your guess is as good as ours. I mean, most assuredly, that is a game we would very much like to be playing very soon, please. But we don't know. Uh, I have Call of Duty. I haven't started. I've started playing it, but 
I will not be close to review for a couple days. Uh, I'll hopefully try to get that done this weekend. Not likely. Um, so it'll probably be next week. Um, so that's way late. Sorry. Um, but uh, a lot of time. Man, I just when I want to when I want to stop somewhere, just my basic blocks. Okay, I was starting. I was going to lava, which is why I kept like skipping it. Got a wedge block, but I want a little corner. Round ledge. Sure. Maybe we'll do that. I think how many things I have that are tall and curved. You know I mean, like this, like a like this, but smaller and curved. They never made those, did they? Like a thin wall, but a curved wall. Gotta go big. And I kind of like this ledge block. It's 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 interesting. We don't we don't use this enough. So okay. So how far away is that from that? <clears throat> so that ends right there, and that's inconceivably sure yeah, about there. And then let's see if this is big enough. Yeah, how wide is it? goes yeah maybe one more so that's one two three four five See, but that's like the trick. Like you, 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 you judge the measurement by one thing, and then you line it up next to another thing, and it doesn't work at all. And so you kind of, kind of have to, like, even though that lines up with the main street, middle of main street, and those like poles, it might not line up with where the beginning of the you know people mover should be in relation to like how big that is. Um, I don't think it's brick, but I'm, I don't really care. I don't, I'm not sure what. Oops, no, go back. Again, there's nobody nobody taking pictures on Main Street on Tomorrowland. Look at this. No pictures in here. Yikes. Finally getting some pictures over there. This person saving the day. You'd think with Google Maps, there'd just be blue dots all over the place. But I guess not. Um Okay. I'm gonna go back to bring in a block. Actually, no. Line that up. That'll drive me just a little bit crazy. And I know it's not brick. I'll change it later. Okay. So see, it just like, adds a little bit more visual interest. So you're like, okay, that could be be a fence. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save some space. I'm going to make that the actual fence. I'm going to take out all of those middle blocks that I just threw down. Yeah. Oops. Save some space. You know what I mean? We don't need them. Oops, didn't mean to delete those, but we're fine. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try to build this thing. I wonder if it actually has a name. Um, yeah, let's get him close. Okay. So we got little balls, but we got two big balls. And I'm actually going to build it in relation to the way we're seeing it right now. So, let's say we got... We got, we got big balls. We got little balls. And we can, act, well, you know, what we can actually do is put it on a path generator and move it. But we're not going to do that right now. Um, so, yeah, it kind of looks like a ball at the bottom, but it's not because that probably has a a flat base. Um, 
So I think I might just do this guy at the bottom, the pillar. Just do a couple pillars. Um, yeah, maybe just do pillars all the way up. And then like a pole once we get up taller. So we got you gotta put these bowls in. And it looks like these bowls are gonna be too big. But you just got you gotta do them. Um Yeah, there we go. Right in the middle there. Put this guy up up high. And this guy down low. Move that in. Oh, wait, yeah, there you go. Then you get your half dome. The dome within a dome. And then you get all these other little smaller balls. I wonder if there's like decorations or something we can make out of like the little tinier ones. Because the blocks, I don't think it's going to happen. So. So we have beach ball. Which would be kind of fun. be kind of funny to just like cover this in just every type of ball that there is available. It's like power sphere. It's kind of cool. I wonder what that does actually. Power sphere. What is that thing? Um, be careful, kids. That's a power sphere. Um, gameplay toys. There we go. We got a boulder, we got a giant snowball, we got a mine toy. How, what what is a mine toy? Are you walking down that blows up something? We got a towable wreckage ball. Aerial detonator. Whoa. Uh this is cool. This actually like very much looks like that style. Um so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put you in there. I'll style everything around you. Actually, that kind of looks like this guy. Just about almost on the same level as that. Well, it's tough because they all have arms connecting it, so I actually want it to get be kind of close to this thing. I can actually even just put it in the middle. Sidekick turret. Now, I know there's collectibles that are circular. Not cherries. We're not putting a cherry on this tower. Going through gameplay toys. No, not you, cherry. I think it's in collectibles. Yeah, these things. Armored orbs. Put lots of little armored orbs. Or even just the... the Armored Combo Challenge Orb. Combo Challenge Orb. Okay. But I kind of like these. These are good. Yeah, put one of those over there. Oh, and they spin too? Sweet. Yeah. This guy over here, is he also spinning? Nice. And then, again, I might take, like, do, like, a Path Creator... And have this thing just like do a quick, do a really easy like circular rotation. Maybe have that thing like turn on its axis. Um, okay, the only trick is you got a nice. Yeah, we need like a flagpole. But that just looks kind of dumb. I guess not. No way I could put that right in the middle, right? But that's blue. It sucks we can't change the color. Is that droid factory choppers? No. Just need something 
straight up and down. I guess that's why they put these things together. Because they're like, that's it, dude. Flagpole. Right up the flagpole. Um. Next. I mean, this thing is going to look dumb no matter what we do, you know? <laughs> it's going to be a hodgepodge no matter what. Um, we could actually try taking this thing. I can't put that in any closer, right? Okay. So I'm going to take this guy. Move this guy up a little bit more to make this not so dumb. There too. And I'll take you. Another one of you, just right back here. There. What is your favorite all-time Disney character? Um. <laughs> uh, that looks ridiculous. Probably Pinocchio. Um, Pinocchio or Peter Pan, but he's not like a Disney character. It's t I mean, it's it's tricky because those you know Walt did not create those characters, but he did create you know Mickey Mouse. He did I can't with. Uh, I'm really here. With uh, you, I works. Oh, Sophie, would you like to come in now? You doing okay? Are you at the outside? Would you like to come in? Sophie's looking in from outside. Yeah, we're all we're just hanging out in here. We're playing games. Is this what you wanted? Or do you want to go back out? Now she's looking outside again. Well, just let me know. Um, so yeah, uh, that is not. So there's there's a thing that some of the uh, toy box artists have figured out that's like where they can like trick the game into clipping stuff together, and I don't know how you do that. So maybe I could look that up online and then. You know, but at least at least we have like placement here. Again, measurement is really like what the, what uh, what's the most important stuff here. So it's like basically what you would do, and we can actually do this right now. Is um, because we've got to make room for him anyway. Is toy box door? Let's put it right here. So it'd be a door that's like, hey, welcome to Tomorrowland. Would you like to go to the Tomorrowland toy box? And you're like, yeah. And this would be like, welcome to Adventureland. You look like you want to go to Adventureland. Same thing with Frontierland. I'm guessing Fantasyland, too. So, yeah, all those doors that'll take you to other toy boxes that I'll totally have time to build, right? Sure. Totally. Um, but I want to get this restaurant in here. Keyblade Wheeler Winnie the Pooh is my favorite. Darkwing Duck or Gizmo Duck? Yeah, I watched a lot of Darkwing Duck. Back in the day. Okay, let's move away from this monstrosity that we have created and let's look at this thing. So I love eating here. This is one of my favorite restaurants. Um, I believe it's called the Plaza Inn. Uh, I love to... Uh, they have pasta that is just... Like, Amanda will be like, hey, what do you want to have dinner? And I'm like, she's like, all right, let's go get some pasta. That's fine. Like, sorry, their pasta is just so delicious. Um, it's kind of like picking a Nintendo favorite. Too many amazing characters, yeah. And I like a lot of the characters for different reasons. There's no, there's not one character that I think encompasses everything that I love about animation or, or characters or Disney. Um, uh, wow, look at all these uh, umbrellas. It'd be nice to maybe break out some different umbrellas. Um... But what we first need to do is actually take care of this business. So, um, like this little bush over here with the benches and whatnot. So, yeah, if we're coming down here, this is all. Tucked away in the trees. So we go go to plants. Okay. And yeah. And we'll put you right there. And then there's like another one right there. 
Sure, it's not perfect, but nothing in this toy box is. And then there's another one. If you want to go around, you can in front of the other thing, right? I don't know what this would be. There we go. I'll take care of it. Sure. Okay. Um, I guess we should do the same thing that we did over here to kind of establish space that, like, there's a wall there. What if I could just do it with blocks? Or with, uh... I keep looking for the word blocks, but it's not blocks, it's basic blocks. So I think the word basic comes up and I just like go right past it. Um, so yeah, there's a little uh, corn dog cart over here. Uh, and there's other buildings over here too that I can maybe add, that I should add probably right now. All right. So anywhere within view? Nope. Okay, I can add that one. Nope. These buildings. I don't need facades. like actually I should start moving you back a little bit because this starts to curve back this way into one of the employee exits right in the background here um, actually that's not where we're going right now we're going there so yeah again this like corner edge that goes down there can't do it <laughs> cannot uh, focus on that so yeah that looks like one building two buildings Yeah, that looks like we can actually push this back super far. And I think this is like where you can drop off your kids. <laughs> or like pick up your kids. Or I think you can like change the diapers there and stuff. Um, okay. Back to basic blocks. I'm trying to figure out where this wall would be. So if that thing lines up with that, I guess we can line that up with that edge there. There would be the entrance. Well, this wouldn't make sense, though, because you wouldn't be able to walk. Yeah, hold on. Gotta get creative here. Oh boy, not a lot of room here. Okay. Um, that wouldn't be there. That doesn't look right. I think that might be okay. I think we gotta put the entrance, oof, boy, like here. And then after the entrance, we gotta like put the other thing back. It's gotta, yeah, we gotta move it back. Nothing fits, nothing works. It's all messed up. This is so much room back here. There's just not this much room. But it doesn't line up. See, it's diagonal. It's a corner. It should go that way. <laughs> ah, I gotta make it not work. Okay, never mind. So, we'll put that, like, there where that's actually supposed to be. Two, three, and then have this, like, a corner. Have that go back into the restaurant. And then people you gotta be able to like walk through here. So this will just zigzag, I guess. I guess I'll just I'll just do like this. You know? There's something like it. Because this is how it goes. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a 
the line that goes in that direction. Good place to watch fireworks, by the way. This restaurant. Um, you can just get a, get a table and watch fireworks. A lot of people don't do that, so... So yeah, I guess there you go. There's your entrance into this area. And then, yeah, little walkway there. Um, it's tricky because you can get, yeah, none of this just lines up. Ah, it's frustrating because like, I, the difference I want to do with this toy box compared to what other people do is that I, I, I feel that a lot of people, the Brucey87 just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Brucey, you're a subscriber now. Let's make sure I didn't miss any other subs. Because I want to be in my happy place here today on election day. And nothing puts me quicker directly into the eye of the happy place than a good old sub. Very much appreciated. Um, but now, yeah, I guess we can close this off. Where does this restaurant end? The restaurant ends right around just before the middle of this thing. Okay. So, like, yeah, right about there. Actually, what we can do, instead of, okay, and then the building itself, yeah, I think I'm going to take this block over there, because I think I'm going to actually make this building. That you actually go up and into, and it's elevated, so actually I'm going to delete you, and I'm going to bring in some actual blocks here. Feels good to subscribe. Easy air, doing a great job. Love the streams of the podcast. Thank you, Brucey. Uh, the year is wrapping up. We have a big meet and greet coming up on December 2nd, so now is, now is the time to let us know big things that you would like to see changed here at Easy Allies. If there's things you're like... Don't love this show. Miss this show. This is a thing you used to do at Game Trailers. Would love to see that come back. Um, let us know. Okay, so if that's the door, then I want to have the stairs go up to the entrance there. Have this be... I'll just have that there. Again, I don't think this will be brick in the final version, but I don't even know if you'll be able to go into this building in the final version. I might just kind of make this a facade. Um, yeah, yeah, this is the entrance. And right up here and get some food. Um, again, this doesn't like... There's a huge balcony over to the left here, like in between there and there, like it's not. And again, that's it. Yeah, I don't like, yeah, I'm not. I don't lock it. I'm gonna move it. Uh, go away, go away, go away. You go over here. You do that. Do that. You put you over here, and that's at least kind of somewhat what it looks like. Um, and then these blocks. Nope. Actually, no. Wait, sorry. Still somewhat sized correctly. Hey, hey, hey. 
So when we started uh, the stream today, there was none of this stuff on the outside. So that's basically what we're replacing. And again, it's not a it's 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 much less about like what it's made of and let's try to make it stand in there and be the prettiest thing ever, but more what, what you know, what what specific what stuff is that made of? How is that shaped? And exactly where is that in relation to other things? Uh, let's let's go up high and take a look at it and make sure that looks reasonable and let's go down low and actually get in there. Um, and uh, base that off of actual photographs taken in the park and just, you know, memories of actually being there. Um, there's a cool little canopy that actually is overhead. Maybe we can put that in. I know there's like a half something block that I saw. Yeah, there we go. Curved block. There we go. Yeah. Is that too low? No, that's not bad, I guess. I'll just have that be a tiny canopy. And then there's like nothing to hold that up, is there? There's these columns, but these, <laughs> these things are way too big. Um, I had those poles. What about those poles? Where'd those go? What was that in? Platforming? Platform. I just saw it. Where'd you go? Platforming toys. Flagpole middle. Yes! There we go. She's in here. Man is looking for Sophie. You found her. <laughs> Yay. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, look. Uh, you want to see this for two seconds? No, I have to go right now. It's our restaurant that we always eat at. Oh, the closet. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's the plaza, yeah. <laughs> that Yay. is all. Yay. Oh, it's looking good. Nice. All right, I have to go. I'll be back later. Okay, bye. Laters. Good job, voting. Love Thank you, bye. So that's the thing. You know, vote vote for your freedom. Vote for your country. But most of all, vote to make your wife happy. You heard it here first. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this. I'm proud of this actually kind of sort of looks like this restaurant. Like, if you're going up here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next time I'm there, I might actually, like, get up close and take photographs of it so I can make sure that I'm uh, using the right materials and stuff. But yeah, if I'm on my way, you know, it's like, okay, let's go on Star Tours. Come on. It's like, all right, well, I guess we'll maybe eat there later. Yeah. Okay. I buy it. Um, and it, I might, it's gonna be tricky too to figure out like how to block this off because, um, you know, even it's like, I wanted, I want to direct you towards this door. So like, even though we have this here, I might have to put an invisible wall, like all along the side here, just to, uh, just so you know, don't go there. And maybe even like a big trigger area that like, that like, uh, you know, tomorrow lands in another toy box or something. If you get that close, it'll like let you know. Um. But yeah, and I don't know, I'm not like super stoked about these sidewalks ending right there. Are there even sidewalks over there? Where are the sidewalks end? Sidewalks end like right about there. Uh, and so we got to put something very, very crucial in. Which I believe is a decoration. Might be a decoration or it might be in a set. But darn it, we got to put it in. And then we're going to wrap up pretty soon. I got to shoot something with Ian Hank. Um, I got to wrap it up. But uh, we have, what if it's a set piece? There's the, uh, I think it's a churro cart. But it might be the uh, corn dog wagon. You gotta put churro carts everywhere. But there's specifically a wagon. Not that wagon. Uh, we can go buy churros. Not churros, not churro cart, uh, corn dog. Yeah, the corn dog cart. Sorry. That's what I'm looking for. And that's one of my uh, things I love so much about Disneyland is uh, I was talking to James Kohler, who was a former employee of GameTrailers.com, and we were talking about favorite places to eat in the park. And he was like, I love that corn dog cart. I was like, the, the what? He's like, the corn dog cart. Come on, the cart that you get to when you're, you need corn dogs. It's right there at the end of Main Street. And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. 
And sure enough, I went back. I've n I'd never gotten corn dogs from there before. And now you gotta get corn dogs. Is it a set piece? That'd be hilarious if it's a set piece. I don't think it is. With my luck, they took it out. Yeah, it's not set pieces. I don't think it's in buildings. So we have a hot dog stand, which maybe can just can live there for now. But that's not a newspaper stand. But I thought there was something else. Maybe they have the churro carts. And I was happy about that, and I'm getting that confused. But at least we have something there recognizing that hot dogs are purchased there. Where are those churro things? I wonder if that's building set. Is that in this building set? Little churro carts? Yeah, there they go. Main Street Churro Cart. There you go. They sell something on the corner here. I don't think it's. I don't know if it's churros or not. They definitely sell stuff over here, though. Here, we should. Uh, I think. I don't know if they sell churros actually on Main Street, but I know they sell slight stuff. And I think they sell popcorn right here. So. Right there. Um. Okay. So here we are. Here's Main Street. Uh, so no, Ian's not here. Ian's, Ian's stopping by in a little bit here at EZA headquarters um, to shoot something with me. I'm actually curious what we're shooting today. He sent me a text and was like, I want to shoot something. Can I come by? I'm like, uh, sure. That's how Ian rolls. You see easy updates. That's how they happen. You know, nice and easy. Um, we'll wrap it up, of course, with our your friend of mine. Boy, am I glad you're back. What do you think, Maggie? Huh. You're messing up the place, dude. Do 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 do. Just this act, just cheers me up to no end every single time just walking down Main Street just knowing like doesn't doesn't super matter what I do today I can just kick back so yeah instead of these blocks I think I might put walls up here maybe put a little staircase when that leads you actually into the restaurant yeah. but yeah there's more stuff now so it's not just this center thing. And, uh... Hopefully it sort of, kind of creates the illusion once you're, like, in the middle here. That, uh... There's stuff beyond. And you're like, oh, I can go over to those other lands and check that stuff out. And I can go over there and go to Tomorrowland. Those weird-shaped brick balls. Or I can go over there and get some... Fettuccine Alfredo. Or go over there and get some quiche. Or, you know go home. Uh, so yeah, gonna drop in uh, the statue to finish this off. Uh, we got Matterhorn in there. Be fun to maybe... How much space we got in here? Just for kicks. To wrap this up. To crunch the Disneyland stream. Let's get let's get some of these bigger things in here. Come on. Let's do it. Where are they? Buildings. Not building set pieces. There we go. Arendelle Castle. No, get out of here. Wouldn't be able to see it from there, but you know that is over here. Um, lots of Star Wars stuff. There we go. So yeah, I, I know Space Mountain isn't there, but again, you can like see it. So you're like inspired, like oh, let's go over there and check that out. It's like, well, you gotta. Fine, I'll put it over here. I hate that it's like hanging off the ledge, but Maybe I'll put in some more terrain. There we go. Now 
outfits. <laughs> I think it's Dusty's runway. It. Yeah. The runway is just a general good concrete alternative. See you, Reese Red. Thank you for hanging out. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Actually, there. Just have one. Saving space. Actually, put the entrance over there. Uh, and I guess we got a haunted mansion, but I guess we can. A small world. I guess we can put a small world back here. If you're so inclined to like fly around and see all the different things, sure. A haunted mansion on the edge here. Matterhorn, big term, a big thunder back here. Sure, let's splash over here. Splash behind it. You know, just little little temptations of the things that you can do. Ooh, I like having Merlin's Tower. There actually is a little like fantasy towerish thing over here. So yeah, there we go. So Mickey's like, I just got some chicken. I'm gonna go back out get a fast pass. Good job, Mickey. I'm like, wow, look at all this stuff. Oh, Big Thunder's over there. It's going Big Thunder. And like, oh, Matterhorn's over there. I'm like, yeah. But unfortunately, we got to make other toy boxes to realize all of those dreams. <laughs> Big and small. That's, yeah. Oh, wait, that doesn't line up. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's a facade, Jones. It doesn't matter. It matters. <laughs> so, you know, Mickey can have a party. There. Sorry. Now it fits. Here, I'm gonna put you on this side, Mickey. There we go. There's a good save freeze frame. And there it is. It's a pleasure to show you uh, a little bit of what goes into actually trying to recreate a realistic place in Disney Infinity. Uh, it's fun to talk about Disneyland with you and hang out in a virtual Disneyland if we cannot hang out in the real Disneyland. Thank you again to all of the people this uh, weekend at the uh, Mega64 Game Days uh, that reached out to me, uh, that hung out with me when I went down there to hang out with the, the guys from Mega64. Thanks to Mega64 to having Game Days. It was the same day as Dapper Day, which is where people dress up uh, and be very dapper at Disneyland. Uh, and I was bummed. I did not look that up and know that that was Dapper Day. So I'm like, ah, I would have... Looks a lot more dapper than I am now. It's like a t-shirt and shorts. Um, but uh, love Mega64. Love their t-shirts. Um, and thank you to uh, Sean gave me a pin right off of his shirt. He took the pin right off his shirt and was like, there you go. There's the game day's pin for this year. Um, but uh, yeah, nice chill stream. Remember, if you are a U.S. citizen, I strongly recommend that you vote today. Um, this, is the, this is the day to vote. Get out and vote. This is like really attached to my t-shirt, but do it. Vote. Um... Uh, for me, for Jonesy, do it for me. If you're like, I was thinking about voting today, but I, I'm doing a lot, and now I see results, and I don't know that. Vote, get out there, do it, um, please. For Jonesy, for the Allies, uh, make it happen. Um, and everybody that is not in the United States of America or is not old enough to be eligible to vote um, for it, or is not eligible for any one weird reason, or just does not care about politics. Apologies for all the things that are happening today. But we will be back later tonight for a group stream from six to eight, a specific non-political jolly group stream. Uh, I believe we'll, uh, looks like, um, uh, uh, Super Mario World is possibly in the lead, um, so we might be playing that, um, uh, Super Mario 3D World, 
you got there's so many different adjectives now in Mario games, but uh, the Wii U game. So it looks like we might be playing that tonight, but don't quote me on that. Um, but I do like Disneyland. You can quote me on that anytime. Uh, and thank you so much for hanging around and watching me build this. I don't know when I'll actually get around to finishing it. I know for a fact I will not upload it to their servers because you can't do that anymore. Um, but uh, hopefully, uh, maybe if you're friends of mine, you can check out my toy box. Or uh, if uh, you, uh, one of these days, maybe down the road, if I make some more substantial changes to this, I'll stream this again and show you updates on my Disneyland toy box. Uh, but uh, I will be back next week to play the Lone Ranger playset with Mr. Michael P. Huber. I will be back the week after that with the final Toy Box Tuesday with special guests um, and uh, some some special stuff. Hopefully I'll have time to prepare, uh, prepare uh, for that momentous uh, Toy Box Tuesday. But uh, this has been a pretty uh, jolly Toy Box Tuesday, everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, go out and vote, and we'll see you tonight for the group stream. Take care.